Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Pontefract Racecourse here on Tuesday. It's the 11th of July, 2023. Going to look third race at 320 from Pontefract, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Join me Thursday for my opening day Saratoga preview. i um, going to have that video up later tonight, so you could go check that out uh, starting in a couple minutes and also uh join me thursday for the day one meeting of um the new market july cup um it's great racing there i love the bahrain trophy that's um the opener on uh, thursday's car that looks like it's gonna be a good race and it always you know the, the format of that race always shows up throughout the season so check that out that video is probably gonna be up tomorrow evening but um th- th- for a tuesday afternoon the third race from pontefract is quite interesting so let's get to it right now speaking of the quad pod the third race is 320 it's the Pippalong Stakes. It's a listed stakes for Class 1 horses. Going for a $60,000 purse. Races for four-year-olds and upwards. Phillies and mayors only. Nine horses are contesting the 1,600 meters or a mile on the turf course. Going to take the three-horse Espresso as a top selection. Going to go 368 in your Tri-Cash Trifecta. 368 Tri Cash Trifecta, top selection of three horse espresso. And I'm a coffee junkie. Any kind of coffee, espresso, um, a, a good Colombian coffee, um, Arabic coffee is quite good also. But, um, you know, I, I just love coffee. Uh, you know, for Christmas, I always get uh, different coffees uh, in my uh, Christmas um, stocking because, you know, I'm just a junkie for it. Uh, but um, th- this uh, four year old filly here by Dark Angel, Mark and Charlie Johnson trains. Charlie Fanning, uh, Charlie Fanning, Joe Fanning gets the mount on this one. The horse's most recent now came off the, on the 3rd June up in Scotland on Musselsboro. Seven furlongs in a Phillies listed stakes and the horse finished 5th by 7 and 3 quarter lengths that day and she just never got going from the back of the pack. They were going quite slow for the pace and she just you know was flat that day. It wasn't her day to win. I hope she's more into it today. If she's more into it she could win. The seasonal reappearance on the 23rd May at Air, seven furlongs and a class four handicap. She won by a half a length, and she beat some good boys home that day. She was towards the front end. She gamed it out to the wire, and she got the job done. A good, gritty performance off the bench for her that day. And then her final start of the 2022 season came at Musselsboro on the 10th of October. Seven furlongs and a class three Phillies handicap. She finished ninth by 21 lengths. The course had a given it, which I just don't think she liked. She kind of hit the wall late. It wasn't her day to win. And then her most recent race here at Pond, in fact, over the 6th last September in a class two Phillies handicap. She finished fourth by one three quarter lengths. I thought she wanted more ground, but she got around the race course well that day. Uh, and then before that Epsom on the 29th of August, seven furlongs in a class three handicap. She finished six by two lengths that day. She got beat by better horses coming down south. It just wasn't her day to win. I think she, if she shows the race like she ran at, at, at Air last time out, or even the race she ran at Pontefract here last year, she could win against these horses. A 10 to 1 in a wide open race, I'll take the chance. I think your second likeliest winner is a six horse love interest for Daniel Thudhope and David O'Meara. Most recently in a Class 2 Phillies handicap at Ascot on the 21st of June. She finished 18th by 15 lengths, and she needed the race. She just ran flat, absolutely like a pancake, never really getting into it. Um, you know, prior to that Lingfield and the Shartwell stakes, she finished 8th by 13 lengths. Again, just had a wide poster and was never into it that day. But if she could run a race like she ran in Ascot last October, she could win there. I think a little bit fast ground should get her into it. A stronger pace to suit her well. At 12-1, to 1, it's a good spot for her. It's way down the class ladder than she's been facing as of recently. I'll give her a shot here at 12 to 1. But to recap my selection for the third, 320 from uh, from Pontefract here, it's the Pep Long Stakes. Going to take three horse espresso. Give kudos to the six horse love interest. 368 Tri Cash Trifecta. 36 in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.